Once again, welcome to the Swedish woods. Uh, today I'm visiting one of my favorite lakes, Lake Sommen, in the middle of the county Östergötland. No big plans today. I'm going for a short hike, maybe, uh, well, two and a half kilometers or something like that. I'm gonna set up camp uh, on a hopefully nice spot with a view of the lake. And also I'm going to do my first night in the MSR Elixir 1. Looking forward to that, to see how it, if it feels maybe too small for me. Because usually, if you follow my stuff, you know I usually bring at least one dog, sometimes two. That's cool. So, well, let's go. Okay guys, we're on the move, so we just reached uh, the edge of Lake Sommen. This is the first time I've been here, but I can see there's some kind of trail, so we're gonna follow that and hopefully find our way up the mountain. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have an awesome spot to camp tonight, so uh, let's keep walking. Problem. I'm not sure you can see beside me here. That's like it's a drop straight down. I don't want to fall down, so I'm gonna take this nice and easy, and hopefully get up sometime soon. Not getting easier. Quite the opposite. But hey, uh, I like adventures. I wasn't planning on having one today, but who cares? This is fun, guys. So, so. onwards. So this is where I finally had to climb. No biggie, but there's that's sand in the crevasse there, so not much of a foothold. Of course, after all this rock climbing and stuff, there's this awesome campground, camp spot, which would be perfect. Uh, seems to be a lot of flat space and some rocks, so I would actually be able to take a swim there. So, hmm. I know I told you I wanted the view, but I can promise you, down there I've got both the view, the flat ground, and also closer to the water, because I want water to drink and I want water to take a swim actually. It's not that cold, it's the 29th of September, we're about... 15 degrees above zero in Celsius, so it's totally possible. Me, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweaty right now. There's mosquito. I walked on, walked up on this game trail, and usually I find that if you follow game trails, there's, all, there's often awesome spots. At the end of them, and hey, look at these guys! Uh, I think I found home for tonight. Well, folks, I went all the way out there to find a spot for my tent. There's no flat ground and that's well that's why i didn't own a tent before this because we could have put a hundred hammocks 
along this coastline without disturbing each other. But hey, I'm not a quitter. I'm gonna try to get up there. There seems to be a level spot up there by the crooked tree. Not sure you can see it. So onwards and upwards again. Well then, we started this small but kind of epic adventure two and a half hours ago. I've been wandering up and down <laughs> this mountain to find a nice flat spot for my uh, tent. This is the closest thing I can find. It's at least it's uh, semi flat. And the purpose of me getting uh, the small size tent in size, instead of the two or even three person tent because the weight difference and stuff isn't that big. The only reason is uh, so I'll be able to to risk sometimes like I did today because I know there's no flat flat ground in these parts of Sweden. It's all rock formation from the ice age. This whole lake actually was created during the, the, the last ice age if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna have some water and then, then we'll start set up, setting up camp. Awesome view, huh? This water is supposed to be drinkable without any, without boiling or filtering, but well, just to be sure, I'm gonna use the filter anyway. So I'll need to get a refill soon later on. Enough slacking, guys. Time to uh, set up camp, get the tent up, and all that. And guys, since I'm celebrating. Uh, I'm starting my new career this Monday. I also brought this. It's uh, well, I'm not. I don't need to tell you what it is, but not for you joining me on these awesome but small adventures. Cheers, guys! If you didn't watch my first impressions movie, this is the MSR Elixir One. One person tent. Uh, I'm not gonna do a review this time either because I want to use my stuff a lot more than just one night. Let's set this up. will have to do. Uh, so far thumbs down for tent in general in this kind of environment but that was almost according to plan because I knew I know the terrain here I know there's I know there's no uh, flat ground so but two thumbs up for the ability to actually pitch this uh, tiny tent anyway so that's great we'll have to see if i'm gonna sleep tomorrow i know it looks uh, crooked but it's not that uneven uh, once you're laying in it so i'm, I'm uh, i have big hopes for this we'll see tomorrow i'm just gonna sit down have a beer and relax and watch the views Cheers! This is a great feeling. I guess most of you know it. Camp is set. Everything stowed away. Awesome weather. Fantastic views.
Wouldn't this have been a nice boat, guys? There's, it's not a square meter of flat ground here, so it's not possible. If I brought my tarp and the hammock, that would have been something, right? I'm gonna do that some other time. Right now, I've got to work with what I brought, which is a tent. And the tent's up there, so it's a, it's a bit of a climb to get down and up. Hello guys, I'm going to have a swim. It's uh, kind of chilly. This is September 29th in Sweden. But still, it's not that brutal. It's kind of nice actually, after climbing these mountains and getting uh, warm and sweaty. Also hel helps uh, help with the uh, mosquitoes. So I'm gonna try to get up without exposing myself too much. Cut! Oh. So now it's time for me to get dressed again and I'm gonna hike up to the camp and see if I can find some uh, twigs and, and, uh, and stuff for the for the wood stove. Folks, what more can you ask for? This is me celebrating my new job starting Monday. Time to eat a simple beef burger, nothing fancy, some cheese, and uh, you probably know this HP sauce. Mm.
just started raining. Uh, I've just been sitting by the fire, having another beer and watching the, the lake as the sun set. But right now it started raining quite heavily and it also started blowing, which is great because what's the fun in trying this tent out in, in summer conditions, right? Come storm, come rain, come thunder, I don't care. I'm gonna be here tonight. Uh, the fire actually just, just stopped burning. I just started uh, uh, taking classes because I'm gonna get my hunter's license next spring. I actually have the whole uh, class in the form of an audiobook, so I'm gonna listen to that. And the rain and the wind. Okay folks, it's half past 10 in the evening. I'm actually gonna go to sleep because I need to set my alarm for half past six in the morning uh, so I can break camp in time and make breakfast and all that. And also I want some time to just relax and enjoy. Because after that I'm going down to the harbor in the village here where I keep my boat and I'm going to help them to uh, get the harbor ready for winter. And also I need to uh, get my boat and pack it on the, on the trailer. So thanks for joining me today. This has been great. Uh, I thought I'd give you just a quick impression of this tent so far. I'm happy I managed to uh, get it up, even though it's an uneven and really small spot I'm on, it worked. And also, what strikes me is uh, the, the difference in temperatures. Uh, it's probably like 10 degrees wa warmer inside than outside. So that's a big thumbs up, happy with the temps. I'm just in my underwear right now, haven't even crawled in my sleeping bag yet. I'm not sure I will. So thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good morning, folks. Uh, time's about seven o'clock in the morning. Eight past seven. Which is kind of what I'm, I was aiming for. Plan was to get up at half past six. But this is fine. I have a habit of sleeping in when I'm outdoors. Uh, you always sleep so good, right? Uh, some more impressions of this tent. I actually slept like a baby. Rain's been hammering down most of the night. Great feeling to be sleeping in a tent, uh, warm and safe. I don't think any, any of it got in. Doesn't seem to be any, any uh, bothering condensation either. So that's great. Uh, well, I'm gonna get out of, of uh, the tent and make some breakfast and a cup of coffee. And I'll see you out there.
rice pudding with cinnamon taste. This is gonna be my breakfast today. Uh, I heated it up in one of those chemical bags again. Time for breakfast. Folks, uh, I think it's 10 past 8 in the morning. It's time for me to, uh, well, I've already packed up my stuff, but it's time to start heading for the car again. Well, we need to start walking. See you on the trail. As usual, leave as little trace as possible. I don't think no trace is possible. This is where I pitch my tent. Well, looks okay, right? This is where I had my small fire. No problem there. I'm in a bit of a rush today. I'm gonna try to follow the ridge up top. Uh, I'll try to also try to follow the game trails and see if they can't lead me back in a smart way. They usually do. Good folks, thanks for uh, joining me on this tiny adventure. Tiny but awesome. Uh, I would recommend you, if you, you're ever in Sweden, please feel welcome to visit our, the small village of Malexander. Uh, you'll find we have almost everything you need here. We have this awesome lake Sommen, with uh, beautiful clear water, big fish, good fishing. We have an awesome camping, we have a couple of really nice restaurants, nice people and above all this nature, fantastic nature. And also up in, in the wooded area here you can find something called wilderness fishing, which is fishing, you're gonna fish on one license in about 40 or 50 lakes. So that's great, well thanks again guys, I'll see you real soon.